What's Black up out. kitchen table wizards? What's up deck brewers from all over the world? Yes, the time has come. Finally, we have enough cards to brew a nice deck around berserkers. Now, if you want some inspiration for your berserker tribal brew, you have come to the right place. Let's go. So finally we have enough cards to build a Berserker Brew. For me there was only one color combination that was correct to build a Berserker Brew. Retook, you're not watching but you're going to be happy because we are building a Junt Berserker deck. And Junt, that is... Black, green and red. Yes, that's right, Nora is also here. She knows her color combinations. She also knows how to help me with the edits. And who's also here are our friends at Card Market. They keep on throwing vouchers to me and I will throw them back to you. And you know what? This time is going to be a special one because at the end of the video, we're going to announce the winner of our call time booster equipment fun Oscar thing special whatever uh, and this is what we're going to announce at the end of the video so if you're in if you want to see who made the coolest equipment that is a non-weapon stay tuned till the end of the video but if you also want to win some vouchers well let me know which deck you're brewing subscribe to the channel give the video a like and maybe you will win a voucher now let's head into the deck so if you're following my channel, you know I usually build decks around 50 US dollars and I'm going to do that this time as well or maybe not. I failed, mm. but I needed to put in two cards who made the deck a little bit more expensive. But don't worry, at the end of the video I will give you two budget options and then the deck will be around 25 US dollars or 30 US dollars. So very cheap for a cool berserker deck. As Monica is preparing for our casual MTG decks Oscar non-weapon equipment design contest ceremony well meanwhile we're going to start with the deck and as always we're gonna do it in style with the basic lands. I'm playing 7 mountains, 5 forests and 5 swamps. So when I think of berserkers for the flavor of the basic lands, I think about war and vikings and for some reason I associate this with like cloudy skies. Here we go. I always really like the art of this mountain by Cliff Childs. I think the rugged landscape fits the berserker theme very well. More clouded skies and some huge runes, berserker approval granted. And for dinner, they'll be having sheep today, prepared by Adam Paquette. Clouded skies, check. Gloomy vibe, check. Swamp by Piotr Dura, check. No surprise that this is an aggressive deck, so I want to have my lands come into play untapped. Both Smoldering March and Cinder Glade do this, as long as I have two basics out. Pathways also come into play untapped, so I added this dark boar pathway to give us some mana and the supporting colors being green and black. Skark Rage Pits was also right on team, and it's a perfect include for a berserker deck. Now on to the mad creatures, on to those who drink vodka, on to those who chant the haka, on to those who like smashing things, I'm talking about berserkers. Lightning Berserker and Flexin Intruder are our berserking one drops. Both are very useful in the early game, but also very nice draws in the later stages of the game. The next two creatures have the Boast mechanic. And that's an activated ability that you can use when your creature is attacking. Dragonkin Berserker has a deal with some angry dragons. And the Fearless Liberator is an angry dwarf that if you'll make him mad, he'll go and call his friends to cause more trouble. Now one of the reasons that I'm really happy that I can make a Berserker deck is that I finally can include this card, the Altak Bloodseeker. Now me and the Altak Bloodseeker, we have a little bit of a history. 
if you want to find out our little story check this video out later it's a pretty funny story and I do have still a bunch of copies laying here in the closet so the Altec Bloodseeker is part of a bunch of aggressive two drops that I play in this deck they're all creatures that love it when you're attacking or destroying creatures your opponent controls. Unchained Berserker is nothing special unless you're playing against an aggressive white deck. Then it can be game changing. The Stormblood Berserker has menace and can be a 3-3 for 2 mana. Blood Sky Berserker is a new version of the Stormblood Berserker that can also get counters and menace. And the first card I play two copies of in this deck is the Scamfar Avenger. 3-1 is an aggressive stat and the card draw can be very useful. More Berserkers for 2 mana, yes, and they also have the color green in their mana cost. Zerta Goblin is a crazy fellow that can be a 3-3 or a 2-2 with haste. And the treetop ambusher has dash. An ability I really like when playing against control decks who play mass removal at sorcery speed. Hardened Berserker makes your next spell cheaper when you attack. And the Scap Clan Berserker has haste and when it has renown, meaning that it dealt combat to a player, it will deal 2 damage to your opponent every time he plays a non-creature spell. So let's hope he doesn't play a storm deck. Arnie Broken Bow, not Ernie, is a legendary human berserker which can boast for one and get the power of the biggest creature you have plus one. The next one is a little bit out of budget, makes the deck a bit more expensive but he's just too cool to leave out. Vile Smasher the Fierce is a goblin with a serious attitude problem. He gets points for me by dealing extra damage to your opponent for the very first spell you cast every turn and I also gave him an extra point for applauding and copying Nora's choice of hair color. <coughs> Another card that's really a staple in the jump decks and it's also a berserker is the Bloodbraid Elf. Read Duke, you're going to love this one. Well, you're probably not watching this video. I've chosen the art from Steve Argyle and two copies of this card. This creature is just super powerful and it has some decent stats and the Cascade ability. Which is not only powerful but also a really fun ability to have on a creature. Less powerful than the Bloodbraid Elf but still a decent card that has seen some tournament play is this Goblin Heel Cutter. So he's also included in the Berserking Bunch. Next up a Berserking Demon. It's Cardur Doom Scorch, a 4-3 that has your opponent attack with their creatures for full carnage. And next to this Demon Berserker we also have a Zombie Berserker. Carfell Candle Master gives two creatures indestructible which are attacking Berserkers welcome very much. Cleaving Reaper is our first Angel Berserker that come back from the dead when you play a Berserker. Also very useful versus the control decks. And the last legendary creature in the deck is Lovisa Cold Eyes. It's a legendary creature that gives all berserkers plus two plus two and haste just needs to be in the deck. Our berserkers will obviously be attacking and I also included a lot of spells to help them during combat. Okay, before we start with this category, maybe a little side note because the first card I included is way over budget, but it's just a pet card of mine. Uh, one of the cards I had in my early Magic the Gathering deck, so I needed to include it, but don't worry, I also give you a cheap budget alternative at the end. Of course, I'm talking about Berserk, an instant that doubles the power of an attacking Berserker and it gains Trample to deliver the final blow. It's super on flavor and very efficient in the deck. Now, what if our opponents are having some creatures to defend themselves? Well, don't worry, we also have some removal spells up on our sleeve. Blood Chief's Thirst deals with creatures and planeswalkers and Lightning Bolt is still our premium removal in red. Now onto some multicolor spells. Angrat, Rampage, Terminate and Domri's Ambush are very strong removal spells. But we also have some surprise boost and protection with a Blossoming Defense and Collision Colossus. 
this is a mini berserk effect that could also deal with flying creatures. Darigas charm is the ultimate instant for the junk colors. And I even like it better than junk charm. It returns a creature, deals 3 damage or gives a creature plus 3 plus 3. Trash Threat is another flexible card that's removal for creatures or planeswalkers or creates a solid beast creature. So are you feeling the berserker rage flowing to your berserking deck brewing veins? Well wait 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 I have 4 more cards to go. Bone Splitter is the cheap and effective weapon of choice of our berserkers. Rancor is an enchantment that does similar stuff and also adds trample and the Blood Sky Massacre is a very flexible sage that's right on the berserker team. Adding a berserker, drawing some cards and giving us some extra mana and maybe that's used by the lightning berserker in the end. Now if I can in my decks and I really find a nice flavor and synergy match I also like to include a planeswalker and I think I found one. Domri is the most berserking planeswalker if you ask me. It gives your team plus one plus oh, adds some mana that makes your creatures uncounterable and can have your creatures fight. So for me this was definitely the best planeswalker to fit in the deck. Now if you want to try this deck for a little bit less money I will give you two budget options. Okay so we'll be removing berserk and vile smasher. And I want to replace them with two effective common berserkers called Earthfine Champion and Skep Clan Mauler. Now on to the power rankings. If you like fast paced games with hard hitting action and a lot of creature combat this is a deck for you. It hits hard but it also has enough defensive tricks to hold down the fort if needed. Berserkers may be an obscure tribe. But they have my vote to stick around as Berserker cards are both fun and good value for money. Now let's see what the metagame review teaches us. It's quite obvious that this deck does well versus other creature decks. Against control decks creatures with dash can be very useful. And even versus combo decks there's plenty of removal in the deck to deal with potential combos. Now if you're still here that means you are coming for the awards for the design equipment contest. Monica, take it away. Welcome to the awards of the best equipment design in the category non-weapon. And the nominees are Goblin, Goblin King, King with, with Goblin, Goblin Lipstick, lipstick. Marine de Vries with Warm Metallica, Metallica Hoodie, Hoodie. Madness over matter with violin heart, angry Catherine with dumped face mask, Thomas Van Dam with winter jacket protector, Travis Diabolis with Krark's dice set, and Crimson with boots on swift otter. And the winner is. Dumped Face Mask by Angry Catherine. Thank you all for participating and keep it safe, keep it cool and always keep it casual.